Life has been pretty interesting. In my job, I have been traveling all over the place working with children and families. I have really learned a lot from my team. One of the key things that has been an ongoing problem between families and social services is their interpretation of their power. For example, some of the families immediately associate a social worker or support worker as someone with a cohesive pa power rather than a reference source of power. This stimulated my interest into the types of power and how they operate. In this video, I will be covering the five types of power, people who have leadership roles and how they can influence people. One of Dark Martyrs 2525's videos touched upon this topic in his video addressing the issue of how it can influence the motives of an individual in a relationship with someone. The relationship can be examined through transactional analysis, which is a topic Theremin Tree has covered. Let's begin by defining what power is. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, power is the ability to act or affect something strongly by physical or mental strength. In any relationship between two or more people, power becomes an issue. For example, in professional relationships, it can mean the, that the power differences are greater. Back in 1993, Raven and French identified five types of power. The first one is legitimate power. Legitimate power derives from your formal position or office held in the organization's hierarchy of authority. For example, the president of a corporation has a certain powers because of their office he holds or she holds in the corporation. Expert power is power based on the person's level of knowledge or specialized set of skills that other people or members of the organization do not possess. Reward power is simply the power of a person to give some type of reward to an individual to influence them to perform. Rewards can be tangible like money or intangible like praise or promotion. Coercive power is the ability of a person to force another individual to follow an order by threatening them with a punishment if they do not comply with the order. Referent power is one of the five bases of social power as defined by Bertram Raven and his colleagues in 1959. Referent power is the clearest type of interpersonal influence. The leader's interpersonal skill set enables the followers to be led by, by his example or her example, to sell themselves as a role model and demonstrate how to set the standard. For example, Benjamin Franklin, Daniel Everett, Canon Samuel Barnett, Albertus Magnus, and of course many more. One of the best books I would recommend to read which covers a lot more ground on the topic of power would be Robert Greene's books on the 48 Laws of Power 50th Law of Power and Mastery. His book Mastery covers one of my favourite stories on Benjamin Franklin and how he developed his understanding on social intelligence, demonstrating the value of learning over wealth. Another story he covers I would suggest reading for Christians in particular would be where Daniel Everett reversed to the feeling of inferiority to learn more about the culture he was doing missionary work in. The best thing I learned from the 48 Laws of Power and put into practice was Law 9. Win through your actions, never your argument. And no, I don't mean by beating the other person up, it's referring to the tangible, practical application of your idea and the outcome it has. I have not read his book on the 50th Law of Power, however I have heard a lot of good things about it. For example, he references 50 Cent's development into the music scene and compares it to being more threatening than their lives on the streets. I have just bought the book and I am really looking forward to reading it. I hope to cover more on the topic of power, so this will be part one in the series.